Okay, a question by the Alien PvP. I suck at horizontal anyways, and can you please help me? My yo-yo jam for Nom's bearing started making a really loud and weird noise, and its spin life started getting worse. Do I need a new bearing? Help, please. Okay, what you need to do is clean your bearing, and I am going to teach you how to do that. So, first things first, what you will need. Lubricant. You can get the specialized Yoyo Jam lube, which is what I highly recommend. You can also get any kind of lubricant, which will not work as well. I will give it that. It will not work as well, but if you're in a distant circumstance, you know, use something else. Now, make sure that it's um, it's not too thick. Uh, this one here is a little bit thick for my liking, but if you have an option, 100% get this. If you have no other choice, you can use other lubricants. It, it, it might affect the playability a little bit, but it'll still be better than nothing. Next is a yo-yo bearing. Then you need pliers, then you need a pin of some sort, and you also need a little bit of tissue paper, um, glass jar, and lighter fluid, or methylate spirits. Uh, you can get this from a hardware store, just, um, yeah buy it. And that is how you begin cleaning your bearing. Okay, first step, you need to get your yo-yo, dismantle it, just pretend I screwed that, and most bearings will um, not come out as easily as this. A good example is this one here, my uh, G-Funk. The bearing's really difficult to get out, so what you need to do is you need to get the pliers, right? You need to put it over the bearing, and just wiggle it back and forth, back and forth, until, yeah, you finally get it out. There. Okay, just so where you can see that, uh, the light, and it starts to get dark, and you can see a gap between the two shields. Or the C-clip. And that is where you have to stick the needle in to remove the C-clip, and I'll tell you how to do that now. So once you've found that gap, which you can no longer see here, but um, you should be able to, you should just get the needle and place it on the inside of the gap. Now, make sure your needle's sharp, otherwise it won't be able to um, remove it as easily. So just get it onto that in the inside of the gap and keep pecking at it. And eventually, you should be able to remove the bearing, um, the C-clip. If it doesn't work on one side, try the gap on the other side, which is what I'm doing now. Okay, and I've got one side off, and repeat until you've gotten the other side off as well. So find the gap. Find the gap, and then place it, the needle, onto one side of the gap, and just poke until the clip comes off. Until the clip comes off. It may take a while because the um, clip is very... There we go. Uh, there, there we go. Now that we have, whoops, now that we've deshielded our bearing, let's go to bearing, cleaning. Right. Get your glass jar, make sure it's glass, um, prevent from like plastic because this stuff can actually leach out. And then open your um, light fluid. The stuff's pretty toxic so, you know, don't breathe any of it in. And then just pour a little bit in, doesn't have to be much. Um, that's how much I've put in. It's not much. Just put in that, right? Screw it back on. Get your bearing. Place it in there. Put it on the cap, right? Ooh, okay. And just shake it around for a little bit. And that's how you. That's how long I usually shake mine around for. Then take it out. 
and then um, get your pliers and dry out the bearing. And um, remember that tissue that we had in the beginning of this? Yes. Just get that and place it on the tissue. Now here's something I forgot to mention and what to um what to initially bring, but um, I'm pretty sure a lot of people would have this. Try and get something thin, like I'm not sure, um, like a pen will do, and just put it on the pen, just like that, and spin it out. So after that, what I like to do is I like to put a loop in the bearing. So what I do is I just get a little drop of lubricant onto the um, needle and then I just place it inside the bearing. Then I put the bearing back onto the pe uh, pen and I spin it. Now if your bearing was spinning good before then, keep in mind that when you put in the lube it will slow it down. It will. But over time, your bearing will slowly get faster, and in about, uh, I'll I give it three days, it will be back to its original speed. So, don't put too much lube in there, just put one drop maximum. Now, all you have to do is get your shields back on. I usually don't, I usually leave it like this, but just in case you do want to put it back on, what you do is you get the shield, you put it back, you get the C-clip, And then, now this is something I've always found tricky, but what you do is you place the thing on the edge again, you hold it with one finger, and with the other finger you try and shift it into place. That's how you do it. Just do the same for the other side. And you just slowly shift it back into place like that and there you have it your bearings now clean and lubed and ready for play um, just one last thing I want to mention um, I personally have a yo-yo gem phenomenon I think it's great yo-yo but uh, the bearing in it after a while it probably um, has nothing this is what I've noticed that even though if you clean it, even if you like reshield it, sometimes it just goes a little bit fuzzy. And the reason for my bearing going um, haywire or slowing down, making all these weird noises, was because eventually over time the C-clips and the shields, they slow the bearing down. And something happens to them. I'm not really sure what happens to them, but they start to slow the bearing down. So um, to the person who asked me the question, I would recommend you keep your shields off because that might also contribute to your yo-yo um, bearing slowing down. So I hope that helped. Thanks.